you have the electric universers. Okay, here are these people say electric electricity is flowing potential for work. Flowing potential. You have we have a concept that is flowing. Now that is scary. Okay, and again, uh, you know, uh, electricity is a river. It's electrons that are flowing. So you can't say electricity flows or current flows. That's irrational. Electrons. Flow. Okay, and then uh, he says plasma, the first state of matter. Well, I don't know. I thought the first state, what was it, uh, South Carolina or Virginia? Well, those was the first state. I can't remember now. Yeah, there, there is no such thing as a first state of matter. Okay, And if uh, plasma is a, is a state of any kind, which means what something does, then for sure plasma is not a thing because a verb is not a noun. Okay, So I hope you understood that. Okay, he says, what the Webb uh, telescope reveals must even amaze and awe builds physics cynicism. Yeah, um, we, we don't care what the Webb... Uh, uh, telescope, James Webb Telescope uh, reveals because uh, we don't we don't care about evidence. We try to make sense of how this universe works, and for that we don't need evidence at all. Evidence is what you use to convince, not to uh, explain. We here explain, and okay? we try to explain in a rational manner. Rational means that we're not going to move concepts around, such as what was it? Potential, the flow of potential. potential. Whoa, the potential is flowing. That's dangerous. The flow of potential jumping. This... And here you have another uh, movement of concepts. This is Mr. Wal Thornhill, and he's uh, the head honcho at the Electric Universe. And all these statements here come from his um, a video he made recently, twisted pairs and braids everywhere. Okay, but the problem is the twisted pairs and braids, these filaments, are not things. He calls them filaments, but they're, they are electricity. They're flowing flows. That's what they are. The flow, the flow of flows. Mm. Okay, And there you see filaments are like those in a plasma ball. You've seen all those little uh, things that come out of a plasma ball, you know, those lights. He's saying those are the filaments. Okay, so what are they? They're currents, rotating Birkeland currents. Gravity alone cannot produce each twisting and turning filament structures. Okay, so the issue is he's, he's calling them filaments, but what is a filament is the flow of electricity. Okay, the flow of flows again, flow of electrons that are flowing. Okay, that's what he's saying. So he draws them, he draws them as two, uh, as a pair of twine uh, threads, you know, a rope. But that's very, very misleading because he's not talking about threads. He's not talking about wires. He's not talking about, um, you know, strings or anything like that. Wires, you know, any of, any of those. But he's talking about each one of those strands that you see there. That's electricity flowing, meaning electrons which are flowing. Okay. And he has these electron flows twine around each other. Okay. So he doesn't even know what he's doing. He doesn't even know what he's saying. So he said rotating electric currents that flow. What do you mean a current flows? And it flows as a filament, helically twisted pairs and braids. No, these are not braids. Please do not confuse a braid with a flow of electrons. Okay, if that's what he means by you know electricity. Is or it current. because he's talking about the trajectory? Like, yeah, he's talking about the trajectory of a bunch of electrons. You know that he's have to be winding their trajectory. Yeah, yeah, and he calls them braids. But that's the thing. He's he's again nounifying the verb. Exactly. He's turning verbs into nouns. It's, it's like you talk about the the how was it Super Mouse or what was that that one show called? Where the lamb would stand on the... Oh, yeah. It's uh, in Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse. And Mighty Mouse has this uh, this yeah. uh, contrail yeah, behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the and the, uh, she, the the lamb walks along the contrail. He, yeah, he yeah, essentially yeah. turned the contrails into something into a, a little more solid, you know. Yeah. And this is what this fellow is doing, you know. And he says, filaments are electric currents. No. If filaments are electric currents, <laughs> then he's talking about nonsense. They're not braids. He should not call them filaments or braids, which refer to physical objects, whereas his so-called filament, these currents, they are not physical objects. Current is, is a river, okay? And unless you understand the language, you know, you're talking nonsense. And, and that's what all these people do. And, they, and when you point that out to them and say, well, you're doing semantics, Bill. I didn't come here to learn grammar. I came here to do physics. Well, to put it nicely, you know, physics is 150% semantics. Okay, if you do not do semantics, we're not going to understand what you're saying, especially if you say that your filament is uh, curving around and turning into a braid when you're talking about the flow of electrons. Okay, and again, if you're going to have a flow of electrons, like uh, the electric universe says, you better have atoms that, you know, the electrons move from one atom to another. What these people think is that they can do without the atom altogether, and you have only the electron beads moving across the universe from one galaxy to another. No such monster in science or in physics. Current is not the flow of just electrons without any atoms underneath it, okay? Current, you know, is according to the official version, because this is not even current, but conceding it, you know, that the official version is correct. 
current is an electron that moves from one atom to the next. There's no such monster it as no atoms, atoms yeah. and the electrons, just a bunch of electrons flowing across the universe. That is total nonsense. That's what the electric universe believes in. That's what they're proposing, that electrons alone form these filaments, and these filaments, which are just, you know, water flowing, you know, electron flow, and, the they, and they twist around, they form these twisted filaments called braids or whatever. That's total bunk. It's nonsense. All of it. Trash. Completely in the trash can. But to be honest, when you have that much, I think, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that much, you're going to always have semantical issues because words just kind of complicate things. Yeah, but you, you got to get your language right from yeah, the start. Yeah, but what I'm saying is I don't, it's hard to evade that because in the end, it's just better just to watch the movie of how the universe works. Yeah, also, but, if you but, see but see, it, see, it, see, it no, hold it, but see, if you watch it, if we watch his movie, right, of the two braids, yeah. right? You would think that you're looking at something, yeah, no. and they're not talking about something. But uh, there is a something which is the electron, tiny electron. But they pull a million of these or gazillions of them. They turn them into a tube, and they say, "Well, yeah, it's a filament." Then we have these twisted filaments. They turn into a braid, and and you lost track of and what they're they talking hit, about. They hit you with the trajectory of the freaking electron. <laughs> <laughs> they throw the baseball bat, and then the they take the trajectory of where where it traveled, and they hit you with that stick. Okay, so uh, just in case, yeah, here we have a fellow. He says, no one in the electric universe community has ever claimed that gravity is equivalent to electricity. Because I mentioned that the other day. What they say is that gravity is an electric phenomenon. Aha, uh -huh, okay. If I say my car is electric, that doesn't mean I'm saying my car is equivalent to electricity. Okay, you see his argument. One is an adjective and the other is a noun. Learn the difference. Okay, let's see if... I need to learn the difference, or maybe he needs to uh, learn something here. Okay, let's find out. I don't think I didn't learn anything. <laughs> okay, car is an irrational analogy for the comparison of electricity and gravity. Okay. Both are processes, phenomena. Car is electric is not equal to gravity is electricity. Okay, so yeah, car is a noun and electric is an adjective, but here he's uh, comparing apples and oranges when he uses that uh, analogy, yeah. right? Here we're talking about gravity and electricity, both of which are verbs. They're not nouns for the purposes of physics. Both gravity and electricity are processes, phenomena, meaning verbs, okay? So let's get it right, okay? And uh, yeah, this fellow uh, apparently needs to learn some language. Again, the language of physics. And uh, here, let's uh, show them. This is what uh, two, two sources, which I pointed out last time. One comes from the Electric Universe book. This is their handbook, A Beginner's View of Our Electric Universe by Tom Findlay. And he's the following. Again, gravity is a manifestation of the electromagnetic force. Gravity itself is fundamentally what? Electrical and just another what? Aspect of the electromagnetic force. The four fundamental forces, the weak, strong forces, electromagnetism, and what? Gravity will all eventually be seen as having their common root in the electromagnetic force. According to the electric universe, there is no such thing as gravity at all. Anywhere in the universe, it's all electric, all electricity. And then we have at the bottom, Mr. Walt Thornhill, the head honcho. I mean, if he doesn't know, I don't know who does. Says the force of gravity is a manifestation of the electric force. Okay? And gravity is an electric dipole force between subatomic particles. There is no such thing as gravity according to the electric universe. I mean, that's fine if they can say that. I mean, no, that, no, that fine. Be but case. this guy's denying it. This guy said, Bill, you're wrong because we didn't say that gravity is electricity. Yes, that's what they say. Exactly. You don't know your own religion. You go every Sunday to Sunday school, electric Sunday school, and, and you listen to the pastor talking. Instead of the plus for the cross, they have a negative. And, and he doesn't even understand his own religion. Yeah, according to the electric universe, there is no such thing as gravity. Gravity is, is the wrong word. It's an inexistent word. It should be taken out of the dictionary. Everything is electricity. And that contradicts what they say, which is that gravity is orders of magnitude uh, weaker than electricity. Mm. So they have a contradiction. On the one hand, they say electricity is not gravity because gravity is much weaker than mm. electricity. And then on the other, say, look, ultimately everything's electricity and there's no such thing as gravity. So they have these contradictions. That's why the electric universe is absolute nonsense. Poppycock. Okay. And I say it here. Okay. Uh, again, uh, for those who don't understand. I think the roller is going to break before. <laughs> Too many heads to bust. Yeah. Okay, okay, so here we have the all these flatlanders, as I call them, okay, and because of that, they have no idea what gravity is, because they, they never... They don't use gravity, they use the acceleration of Earth going up, I thought. Well, because the problem here is that they use concepts to define, or to uh, explain gravity. So when you use concept, other concepts, such as ether and electricity, to explain gravity, all you're saying is that love is a different way of doing uh, intelligence, and so far you've said nothing. 
You said, uh, or, or like Einstein said, uh, mass is another form of energy. Well, so far he said nothing because neither energy nor mass belong to physics, or and both are concepts. None of them have been defined. They, so they they've say, been defined with each other, so it becomes a, yeah, tautology yeah. and uh, circular reasoning. So here you have it. Okay, so these are the the great uh, bean brains of uh, Flatland. Okay, one Flatlander says gravity is warp time. Another one says gravity is energy. Another one says it's density. Another one electricity. Another one says it's negative momentum transfer. This is what they came up with, all this nonsense. Why? Because they're using concepts. They're using concept, time, energy, electricity. All those are concepts. You cannot say the concept gravity is the concept electricity or the concept momentum or whatever. Yeah, what, where, where are the objects? Yeah, we need to find the objects. We don't see any objects here. Okay? So far, nothing's doing anything. Yeah, all, all you have is one concept uh, defining another concept. Or you're explaining, supposedly explaining, quotations on that, explaining gravity by using another concept. And we haven't learned anything. As long as you say that love is just another form of intelligence or of data collection, you haven't said anything. Well, maybe, <laughs> again, a lot, a lot of these semantical problems arise from our preconceived notions of all these words. If you just replace those words with X, yeah, yeah, then, exactly. then it gets, then, then you, you want, at least, I mean, you'll be confused, but for a different reason. <laughs> but then if you define X, you'd get closer than saying time. Because time, we all have different ideas of what time is. And, and it's hard to define. And they it, never defined it. I know, but it's just, you get into this whole mess. If you yeah. just said X moves people, and that's why gravity thats what gravity is, is, is mediated by X, then you still have to explain what X is. And you have yeah, to draw that's it. That's one or, issue. The yeah. other important issue is that you learned all these concepts, mathematical concepts, in high school. And you think you, you know what they mean, but yeah, you Yeah. Know. In fact, a lot of people drop out of uh, physics and say, well, I didn't understand anything other than all those uh, force and work and energy. I didn't understand any of that. So they say, I'm out of here. And those people who say, okay, I think I understand it. And all they give you is an equation. Look, force is equal mass times acceleration. Uh, work is equal to that. Energy is equal to that. And so all they're giving you is a bunch of equations, calling them names, and then using those words, which are concepts, to explain, a to give you a physical interpretation. That's where the problem, that's when they cross the line into physics. That's where it's illegal. That's where it's irrational. Red card. Yeah, stop. <laughs>